So today we, well, I guess I can start from the initiators. One is um, Carol's a f dance photographer, I think, um, and Jennifer's a choreographer, and we've got Savas and Nasia. Savas, he's a designer, and Nasia's uh, got a dance background. So, what is it not? Uh, it's not yeah. a workshop. I think, which was, um, as somebody who comes from facilitating a lot of workshops, that was the big switch that I had to make in my mind. Uh, for example, a painful moment for me today was uh, where we had to go and just observe other people doing their 20 minutes. And um, it was really hard not to want to, uh, you know, <laughs> to say <laughs> stuff and to facilitate and to go, I saw some confusions or I saw some um, needing to clarify something, not just content wise. And um, I really wanted to uh, join in, you know, and, and that workshop leader thing in me was uh, like coming up and I had to really substitute. And that was interesting that this is very much not a workshop and to leave people to get on with it in the way that they are. Well, um, it's not a happy song. <laughs> not a happy song. <laughs> Okay, it's, uh, it's some kind of hybrid beast between, um, uh, or it's an interpretation of it for, uh, you know, an artistic space. And that's interesting for me because I want to see if it can exist in multiple spaces and therefore could also be used for knowledge exchange between spaces. Um, it's not a drift artistic residency where everyone is an initiator. And so there's a very specific dynamic where everyone has their own project there. Yeah. And it's not... Um, a just open collaborative session because not everyone is a collaborator and, and so it's a meeting between a half one thing and half the other that we're trying to figure out what it means. Um, it's, it's, not, uh, it's only a pilot event so it's not fixed, <laughs> we are still hacking the hackathon. <laughs> The observations uh, that are most interesting from this version of the event are about, for me, are about um, what does it mean that there are artists that are bringing their projects as data to be hacked and then they are not present to manage or facilitate or control that or even influence in any way apart from uh, the initial uh, kind of suggestion and also this understanding of what is it that they're sharing and why? Um, because we, we don't have a, a, a kind of a hackathon prize, um, then is it, what's, what's the purpose of collaborators and what's the purpose of initiators to working towards that sharing? Uh, there are useful things about the hackathon that I have found will go into my processes, especially around um, this uh, com competition and to make people somehow more behave like they're more accountable so that you know that the idea is actually you have to have good ideas somehow you are responsible for them which I think in the artist world occasionally gets a little bit lax so it's one of my observations and the potential of the approach is enormous and I've already described really what I'm most excited about which is to bring kind of knowledge or data from other industries and to let artists have a go at coming up with different ways of looking at it. One of the interesting observations for me has been seeing the, the different culture that exists um, here to a traditional hackathon. Um, you know, the concept of a hacker is quite defined nowadays between either someone who wants to put things together or take things apart and someone who's breaking into a computer system. The hackers here are very different, very different mentality, very different mindset, very different skill set. That's my main observation. Um, in terms of the potential of the approach, I'm interested to see whether the, the, the method, the approach that we are constructing here, co-constructing, has potential for innovation in other spaces. And I think it does, and I'm interested to see the results. Uh, one observation is that even though I think how we set up or the, the schedule, the model that we have set up is rather unfamiliar to the participants, for example, they will say, I have to leave at six, is that okay? Um, why does it have to be two days, 12 hours each? <laughs> but when they actually started working together, you can see immediately it's, it's, you know, it's, they're completely in their zone. They know what they're doing. Um, so 
we'll see what happens after the 24th hour tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How they feel about the marathon thing going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, potential of this approach, I guess you all said it, so I will repeat myself again. I thought that was really crap, and maybe I should re-record this. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do my research before I answer this question. Can we just skip this question first? You can say that again. <laughs>